The Volumes of Truth, Volume 1, Humility and the Word of God, October 17, 2004, From the Lord, Our God and Savior, The Word of the Lord Spoken to Timothy, For Timothy, and for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord to his servant, I have bestowed upon you many gifts, and that which was given the twelve shall be yours also. So then you shall go out, and you shall come in. And like the twelve, I shall be with you. And you shall speak on my behalf. Yes, you shall surely testify, and give me glory, in the sight and hearing of men. Yea even greater things, shall you do. Behold, even as the prophets of old, you shall go out, and you shall come in. For I shall rise up within you, and you shall write my words, and give a shout, and blow the trumpet. Thus it is not by some new wisdom you shall write, but the wisdom of old, that which was, and is, and has always been, the same, and unchanging, the everlasting word of God, established, even before the foundation of the world. For I am, and my word, the same. Therefore, as blades of grass are beset with dew in the cool of the night, even till the morning, so shall I beset you with my words. Each word a glistening drop from heaven, every letter, a shining jewel. Through you shall I set all these crooked paths straight, preparing my way before me. Indeed, I shall reveal myself to many, and by this word, which I shall cause you to write, shall they begin to see me, as I truly am. Yet take care Timothy, lest your mind betray you, and you unwittingly take my words to yourself. For though I have indeed appointed you a prophet, setting you over nations and over kingdoms, to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build, and to plant, never forget your station. You are a servant, of both God, and man. Behold, you shall be for me a mouthpiece, through whom I shall make my plans known for I do not change. Therefore, do not cease from humbling yourself before me. I am your strength, 